Greetings all, Chucks of Earth here. Good morning, how are you? I'm not too happy today. While all the people that said that uh, Candy Crowley's wonderful performance in the debate where she handled Mitt Romney and handled President Obama and was confident and super capable, I don't really know what else to say. I didn't watch much of the debate. I didn't watch the debate at all. I really didn't. So I wasn't aware of this until it showed up in my inbox. Um, so let's let's review. Miss Crowley. This is how she explained afterward how she decided which questions to ask and which to skip. Quote, I had that question for all of you climate change people. We just, you know, again, we knew that the economy was still the main thing. So you knew you kind of wanted to go with the economy, unquote. The fuck kind of sentence is that? So, all you climate change people. Doesn't that sound suspiciously like Ann Romney when she stated that all you, you people don't need to know any more than what we tell you? It's pretty dismissive. Um, condescending and let's let's re-examine that I want to talk about the economy right okay let's talk about the economy as you see below me there is a mock-up of an eco community with solar panels and their prefab construction meant to be relatively self-supporting President Obama recently opened 285,000 acres in the West in Nevada, Utah, New Mexico, I think Arizona, for solar farms. We are promoting wind technology here in Florida, where we've got our first wind farm going up outside of Lake Okeechobee. And all that stuff affects the economy. Science is a part of the economy. We rely on science and technology to move our economy forward. Let's talk about climate change and the economy. The Navy is dealing with, for the first time ever that we've been around, the Arctic ice is no longer there for three months out of the year and people are able to travel through the Arctic area on trade routes. The Navy's pretty excited about that because it opens up America for security risks and China and Russia and other countries are trying to establish oil derricks out there now that it's a nice free area so that they can start pumping more oil. That has something to do with climate change and the economy, don't you think, Candy? Let's look at uh, sea level rise. Russia is building a seawall that can be seen from space to protect its city from flooding which wasn't an issue before. And the coastal states, Florida, North Carolina, New York, all concerned about flooding due to sea level rise, due to climate change. This will affect their economy. So tell me, Candy, how do you figure ignoring climate change and making it irrelevant by ignoring it doesn't affect the economy? How is it apart? What separates it from the economy, Candy? I'd like to know. I really would. And just because you don't think it's important or you can't make the connection being the great journalist you are doesn't mean you're right. And I find it irresponsible and completely out of line that you would include other things ahead of climate change and the economy or how it's tagged uh, how it's related because we're dealing with an economy that could use some jobs use some people getting back to work and they would love to work on solar farms wind farms turbines for tidals since now we're going to have flooding we have a lot more areas for, for uh, tidal turbines to go yeah, I'm, I'm not real happy about Miss Crowley. You might say I feel a bit bittersweet about her presumptuous, condescending attitude. So I'm going to also mention here in this, this article, I'll keep the link below, but young people are pretty concerned about climate change. 
according to this graph, majority of them accept it. And as we can go down further, they consider it a pretty serious threat. A lot of people do. So where is this idea that it wasn't that important? We really do make it as if climate change doesn't exist or shouldn't be talked about or is irrelevant. And that's offending me. I'm pretty upset about it. So I'll include this link. And I want to remind you, which I always do, I'm chunks of Earth, and so are you. Demand some statements, some information addressing how we're going to handle climate change. Whether you believe it's man-made or not, that's not really important. What's important is it's happening. And everybody else seems to be aware of it, but Miss Crowley. Uh, when our armed forces are doing something about it, when other countries are trying to do something about it to combat it and deal with it, but she doesn't want the president and the candidate running for president to weigh in on how the economy and climate change are interrelated or can't see the connection. I consider that a fail. Thank you, and thank you for watching.